I call the United States home, but this country has a painful legacy of violence that we still struggle to confront. I think we always have to find something that holds a promise, and that way we look toward the future. You're committed to humanity, to making the world a better place. You know, not just for your family, for everybody's family. We were trying to make sense of this world. One of the most important things that has to be done in the process of carrying out a revolutionary struggle is to merge the personal with the political, where they're no longer separate. You have this situation where we are trying to build a new society. Grenada is the southernmost of the Windward Islands in the West Indies. Here's our revolutionary government right here in our own hemisphere. It was a utopia. And the next thing I knew, she was packing you all up. Grenada, we were told, was a friendly island paradise for tourism. Well, it wasn't. It was a Soviet Cuban colony being readied as a major military bastion to export terror and undermine democracy. I took my young children out of my country to come here to help this country. I left in pain. This is the first time I've been back, so you've got to be very sensitive. I remember you asking me, as the bombs dropped and the island shook, uh, you said, this must be what they call war. There is a freedom tide rising in our hemisphere. The spirit of democracy is assuming its rightful role as the great unifier of the people. The shooting! The shooting! My mother always said that this is not the way things are supposed to be. And if we work towards change, conditions will become different. Long live peace in our Americas and in the world, forward ever, backward never. <laughs>